today on Florida Sport Fishing. Look at the colors on them. Wow. Nice shot. Look at that. Wow, dude. It's nice. This is what it's all about. Ho ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on! <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump! Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand the harshest saltwater environments. Salt Life Optics, Italian style and Zeiss lenses provide unparalleled contrast and clarity for finding fish faster. Tsunami, a complete line of tackle and tools designed and manufactured for maximum fish catching success. Boat Outfitters, a huge selection of tackle storage systems to keep your gear organized and your lines tight. King Sailfish, providing anglers worldwide with the finest fish mounts. Visit kingsailfishmounts.com and order your trophy today. Oh, there he is, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, is he still there? Is he still there? Why would he go away? No, he went away. He went away. Oh, man. There you go. Now you got him. Now you got him, baby. Excuse me. Woo, right over my head. Woo. Hey, guys. Welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got a really awesome show for you today. We're aboard our CV370Z. We're out doing some amberjack fishing, an absolutely legendary fish. I mean, one of the hardest fighting bottom fish that there is. These things will just crush you. They'll crush your tackle. They'll absolutely exploit any weak link that you possibly have. We just got set up on a deep water wreck here at about oh 250 foot. First bait to the bottom and we're tight. Hold on, baby, hold on. Oh, there he is, there he is right there. There he is. Gotta get him up real quick before a shark gets him. These sharks love these AJs. Woo! Short pumps. Gotta get him up off the bottom. All right, I'm ready to go home. It's springtime here and they congregate on these deep water wrecks to spawn. Oh yeah. Ooh, good one. These are not small. No, these are not small fish. Not use small up. fish at all. Not small fish. <laughs> you got a beast? <laughs> Woo! Mama. How about that, baby? How about that to start the morning? Right there. Nice 30, 40 pound AJ. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tell you what, we're gonna talk about tackle. We're gonna talk about where to find these amber jacks. We're gonna talk about when, baits, techniques, seasons, everything you need to know about connecting with these hard fighting, legendary, Reef donkeys. Oh my God, look at this yeah. one. <laughs> Let's let this one go. Look at that, look at that BMC hook right there. I mean, if that's not a perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth for a fish that you're intending on releasing. Wait till releasing. you see this one. This is a big one. <laughs> big wait one? Till, wait till you see this one. Woo! Woo, that is a slob. That's a slob, baby. It's nice. There you go. That's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Get nice fish. In order. Right. And that yep. is amberjack fish. Ooh. 
The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a C trial today. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit joeyacardicdjr.com. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Another one on the jig. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Get him, Mike, get him. Uh, Are you in the wreck? No, I'm not in the wreck. Wow, you, you got a grown fish in there, huh? I'm pretty sure I got sharked. What? I got so much heat on this thing. Carlos is in too. Came out this morning looking to bend some rods on some big AJs. And it's on, it's on. Oh my God, let this thing hit the bottom. <laughs> I reeled up one crank and boom, <laughs> just destroyed. There he is. It's a 40, 50 pound fish. Nice AJ. All I had to do was reel tight, that's it. Nice definitely, 25, definitely. 30 pound fish. Look how healthy he is. Oh yeah, he's got a belly on him too, man. These things do not hesitate. You get a bait down there and they're gonna eat it. I mean, it's amazing. Let's get him back in the water though. Okie doke. Yeah. Ready? A little shotgun action. There he goes. Look at that chaos rod. Is that some power? It's just too big to be an AJ. My goodness gracious. What are you doing up there? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing, man? Struggling. Why an AJ up? Come on, what are you it's doing? It's no AJ, pal. If it is. It's not an AJ? It beats the Florida record of 140 pounds or 145. No. I is. think you got your drag loose. That's what I think. Drag's way too loose. Yeah. Something just got him. That's a big bull. That's probably 300 pounds. He's got a whole ecosystem going with him. Back up. That's a that's an accomplishment on that reel, Mike. Good job, man. That's a that's a big big animal. You can't gain more. Nope. No, Carlos. I'm just asking. I can't gain I, I, anymore. I want to see a little closer up, you know. Okay, that's all right. Hey, good job, man. Come here, come here. Give me some. Give me some. Good job. Pros tip. Presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. You know, fortunately, if you're looking to connect with some of these amberjack, there's wrecks, deep water reefs all around the state. If you're not sure where to go, just check out our website, floridasportfishing.com. There's a reef locator broken down by county, broken down by depth with GPS coordinates. You know, look for all of those deeper spots, at least 200 feet. I like the spots that are at least 200 feet for those AJs. 
and they're everywhere, as I mentioned, around the entire state. They congregate in the lower part of the state here in South Florida during the spring here. But as I mentioned earlier, year round, any day of the year, you can connect with these fish. Tell you what, it's a combination monster AJs and monster sharks. Oh my Lord. Yep. That's the real deal, baby, right there. That's the real deal. You almost got them now. No joke fishing. Nope. You see the shark yet? Uh, yes, I do. I see a big shark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! He's going, he's going, he's going. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. We're going to try out this new folding fillet knife from Bow Blade on these big grouper. We're going to try to gut them and see how this thing works. Oh man, like butter. I mean, that, that, that doesn't get any easier. Golly, unbelievable. Right through like butter. I love the new gut knife from Bubble Blade. It's compact, the best of all. It's like a pocket knife, man. You just close that thing up and put it away. Love it. Great little knife. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Just look at that leverage. Use that boat to your advantage. Oh, and another one up in the bow. <laughs> That's amberjack fishing right there. When the bite's on, April, May, every bait you drop to the bottom, tight. I'll tell you, these lunacy cushits, I think that's what you call, we call them butt plugs, because they plug right onto they, the- They're lifesavers, man. They really are, they're gut yeah. savers. Yeah. You ready for yours? Yep. There you go. See if we can land both these Whose idea boys. was this to use a spinner? That was you. Actually, they just gave me the rod and said drop that down. Regarding conservation, amberjacks are completely off limits on the Gulf Coast. The greater amberjack, the season's closed from the end of April all the way through December. You cannot harvest a single fish. Here on the Atlantic Coast, it's one fish per person. You know, their eating qualities, a lot of guys like to smoke them or grill them. You are going to find that a lot of these fish are infested with tapeworms, especially toward the tail section of the meat. And there's really an interesting story with that tapeworm. It all starts inside a shark. That's where the life cycle starts. That shark then excre excretes that through its species, however uh, odd it may sound. And then the crustaceans eat that. The small little bait fish and the small reef fish eat the crustaceans. The snappers, the groupers, and the bigger reef fish eat those smaller reef fish, and ultimately they end up inside the amberjacks. And then ultimately, the shark eats the amberjack, and the whole tapeworm cycle starts all over again. Boy, you guys are huffing and puffing. Look at that. I love it. What do you got, Carlos? Oh, I don't know, something big. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's causing pain. You want to trade? <laughs> Do I want to trade? <laughs> Why would I want to trade? I don't know. You can switch arms. You can trade spinner exactly. conventional. You can let your right arm rest, yep. and I can let my, or vice versa. Perfect example of the different types of tackle that you can use for these big amberjacks. Carlos is on a short six-foot stand-up rod. My brother's on an eight-foot spinner. But it's just a quality equipment, the chaos rods. You know, you've got a Daiwa dogfight spinner, an Alu Technos Veloce 20. 50-pound braid on the spinner, 60-pound braid on the stand-up outfit, 100-pound leader across the board, 9.0 VMC hooks, inline tournament circle hooks. It's all about quality connections, bulletproof tackle, and you're going to land these fish. Oh, yeah, there he is. Nice donkey. Nice. Man, you seem to hook the fat ones, dude. <laughs> you don't mess around. There you go. All right. Whoa, yours got shredded. Look at your line. How about that, baby? How about... <laughs> How about that, baby? Oh, yeah. Can you hold them? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hold them. Yeah, hold them. Hold them. Uh, hold them my hold butt. Them. They're little. <laughs> These are no puppies. Hey, I'll tell you what, guys. Take a break for a second. Please. Check out our rigging station. I want to show you the exact rig that we're fishing here today. It's working. Let him go. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's rigging station. I want to talk to you in detail about the rig that we're fishing here today. Not complicated, but it has to be perfect. These fish are super strong, these amberjack. They'll exploit any weak link that you have in your terminal tackle. We're fishing some conventional rods, some Alu Techno size 20 conventional reels loaded with 60 pound diamond braid with a top shot, really important. Carlos is hooked up up there. Top shot about 30 to 40 feet of 100 pound high catch monofilament. That top shot is gonna give you some elasticity, which is really important when you're battling these fish. From the top shot, we go to a, just a typical three-way swivel. This is a basic rig. It's been in use for decades and it works. Off the three-way swivel, for starters, we have a little dropper loop for our sinker. Now keep in mind that that dropper loop is only tied on 30 pound test. Just in case that sinker gets hung up in a wreck, that's gonna be the first thing that breaks and you don't lose your entire rig. Off the other side of the three-way swivel, we've got 10 to 12 feet of that same 100 pound high catch monofilament finished off with a VMC 9.0 inline tournament circle hook. We're releasing these fish, all of these fish. So we wanna hook them right in the corner of the mouth where we cause as little harm as possible. We tie that hook on with a small little loop knot. But again, all of our connections, we double, triple, quadruple check them before dropping a bait down. Any frays in the line, change that leader. Any nicks or abrasions, change that leader. I'm telling you, any weak links, and you're gonna lose every one of these fish. A lot of drag. I can't tell you how many pounds of drag. All I can tell you is there's a lot of drag on these reels. Your other option here is to jig these fish, okay? We've got a Tsunami, five and a half ounce knife jig. The Amberjacks will clobber the knife jigs. Okay, again, 50 pound braid on the spinner. You've gotta be really equipped for these larger, heavier fish if you wanna get them to the boat. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now, and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. It's in the hot beat, it's in the real thing, you can make it up, it's in your soul.
Geico. More than just car insurance. Soft science. On and off the water, I love these shoes. Amazingly lightweight, fast drying, stable, and supportive. Based on biomechanics, Soft Science shoes reduce foot and back pain and are the most comfortable footwear I've ever worn. And when you stand on the deck of a boat all day, that makes a big difference. Anglers and boaters demand shoes that are slip resistant, non marking, and stain and odor resistant, and Soft Science delivers. Dozens of fashionable styles and colors available at softscience.com. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Precise control and accuracy in challenging conditions means better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest trailer dealer, has the right boat, cargo, or utility trailer at the right price. BioGreen Clean, the first heavy duty, environmentally friendly multi surface cleaner that actually works. Tsunami, hard plastic poppers and stick baits designed to deplete local fish populations. Please practice catch and release. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers, fish coffins, and freezers on the water. So traditionally, the right tackle for these amberjacks is nothing less than 50 pound gear with conventional tackle really being the right way to go. You've got a lot more leverage with conventional gear than you typically do with spinning tackle. However, it doesn't mean that you can't catch them on spinning gear. You just got to make sure that you're well equipped. As you can see, I'm fishing a spinning rod right now. I'm going to try and catch one on this spinner. But the most important element here is the reel. This is a Daiwa size 8000 Dogfight Saltiga. It's got a ton of drag, a ton of line capacity, and it's really a very, very well built reel. And that's what you need, something that's going to withstand the constant pressure from these extremely powerful fish. These things are no joke. Oh, I feel my God starting to freak out a little bit. My live bait, I could feel them down there just really getting nervous. Oh, oh, getting a bite. Come on, eat it. Got him, got him on the spinner. Got him, got him. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh come on, baby. Yeah, yeah. This is it right here. Oh, that reel is so smooth. <laughs> Short crank, just keep his head up. Moving toward the surface. Are you hooked up? <laughs> what? I think I got a bite. Oh, pump and reel, man, pump and reel. I'll put the gloves on when I see the leader. Okay. Okay? Because there are some bull sharks down there, just saying, so. You know, don't take too long. They, they might come in. Shut up! <laughs> They might come and get you, you know? <laughs> they just got me, so. A little strong, huh? How's that rod holding up? <laughs> How do you like us just commenting, you know, and keeping you company? Everybody's a clown. Yeah. When they're not the ones on the stick. <laughs> we, we, we want no part of that stick. <laughs> not right now, no. No, I'm good, you, you enjoy that. You wanted to battle, you know, right? That's what we came out here for. We're battling. Look at that thing. It wasn't that little. It's a good size one. Nice. 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 Man, they're so strong. I mean, that fish right there is like twice as powerful as any fish comparable Ow. in size. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> And again, you can do it on spinning gear. Right I just there. prove that. All right, I'm gonna let him go. The yeah. Daiwa dogfight. The baddest spinner on the market. I agree. Right there. Let's put him back before he. Yo, is that on your gog on the bottom? No, I was dropping it down. So talk about the diversity, huh? I mean, fishing for AJ's on a wreck, you're letting your gog down. It tells you how much life's down there. Sailfish comes along and just smashes your goggle eye, dude. That is just insane. The stomach's out. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, nice that's shot. Right. Look nice at the colors shot. on him. Wow. Nice shot. Look at that. Wow, dude. Look <laughs> how purple he is. Yeah, he's a pretty one. I'm glad I got him on this reel, though. Yeah, man. Got him on an awesome outfit. Yep. Big old sail on an eight foot spinner. <laughs> wow, that's a beauty. No, man. 
Look at that. Nice. Tailwalker. It's important when they jump like that, keep it tight, because that's how they throw the hook right there. Wow, look at the purple. So pretty. There you go. Oh! Whoa. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, watching us crush the AJs on the wrecks. We talked a lot about tackle, about baits, about techniques, when and where to find these powerful fish. And then we're ending the day with a little kicker here. Carlos just hooked a beautiful sailfish on his goggle eye, dropping it down to the wreck here. Great job, pal. Yes, hey, sir. don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine to get hooked up. And this is gonna be a wrap. <laughs> Coming out from under the boat right there. All right, here we go. Gotcha. Nice fish. You see him? I got the bill. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. See you later, pal. Kind of look like me a little bit. Just a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Get him, get him, brother, get him. Get him, brother. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not a mutton. <laughs> Something's really gotta be mentally wrong with all of us. I just like experienced pain that you would have at a gym for like an hour and a half being there. Just a hard, intense workout in 20 minutes. And now, and I'm doing it again. Like why, why would, what? I mean, that's like glutton for punishment. <sighs> <laughs> that was just crazy, crazy. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.